Good afternoon. It's a rainy day in the late summer here in the Boiled Sports headquarters in Indianapolis, just outside Indianapolis, actually. I'm your host, Boiler Dowd. Thanks for tuning in. This is another quick cast. Mom, thanks for watching. Brought to you by our pals and your friends at martinvintage.com. Martin Vintage, where you'll get a shirt exactly like I'm wearing. Maybe you can get the same design. I've got the uh, I've got the per the classic Purdue football uh, T-shirt on. They're soft. They're comfortable. They'll help you uh, tell the world that you're supporting your Boilermakers. And when you buy, you're buying from a Purdue family. These guys are Purdue grads, and uh, and, and they love Purdue just like you do. Go to martinvintage.com, enter Boiled at checkout, get 20% off. Yeah, that's right, 20% off of your order. Uh, I'm coming to you for two reasons. Number one, I wanted to tell you a little bit that we've got a a new handsome hour coming your way. That's right. We're recording tonight, and uh, that means it'll probably be on the site in the next few days. Dozens of you out there have been clamoring for a handsome hour, and you're going to get your wish. Thanks for uh, thanks for the interest and. Um, Thanks for your patience during the summer. But Jay and I are going to get back back together, talk a little bit about the conference, a little bit about our Boilermakers, a little bit about camp, camp what we've been hearing. Um, so there's that. The second thing I wanted to do is I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about, I give a note, a video note to Mike Babinski, Jeff Brom, and Matt Painter. I know there are other coaches at Purdue. I know there are other sports that are very important to Purdue. I want, if Purdue has a team, I want them winning. I want the kids to be good student athletes and good people in the community and it seems like Purdue does that and that's one of the things that's really good. The culture at Purdue is generally good in the athletic department. We've been seeing all the garbage around the Big Ten that is just horrible to watch at Maryland, at Michigan State, at Ohio State, at Rutgers uh, and at Michigan recently. Kids selling shoes and thinking he's not going to get caught. There's just a lot of stuff that goes on out there. The Michigan obviously is, it, it, I'm not going to create a moral equivalency with what happened in Maryland and what happened in Michigan. It's just another case of uh, someone breaking rules and uh, thinking they're probably above the rest of the people on campus because of their status as an athlete. Not only a niche, but also my brother and other friends have said, are, is the Big Ten any better than the rest of the, the NCAA world? And I would argue that here's the problem. Whenever you have a large amount of money and high stakes and human beings, there's going to be bad things happening. And Big Ten football is no different right now. What Purdue needs to do, what Mike Babinski specifically needs to do, is tell his coaches and, tell, uh, and send the message to the fans that our, the standard is high at Purdue. We as the Purdue family want to see championships. We want to see teams winning. We want to see them doing things the right way. Uh, but we're not going to go for the garbage off the field. We're not going to go for kids that are uh, breaking laws, that are, are coaches that, are, that are, ha have low standards and two sets of standards that are putting people's lives at risk, people's health at risk, people that treat people poorly. That's not going to happen at Purdue. And here's the thing, there are programs out there that do this. They, they win and they have a high standard for what the student athletes and coaches should be and should look like. I was at Stanford uh, a little over two weeks ago or probably right around two weeks ago, just visiting the Bay Area and I thought I'd visit Stanford just because I've always had a lot of respect for the school. And they brag about having more NCAA championships than anybody else. Well, sure, it's a private school and a lot of those championships are in the Olympic sports and the individual efforts but still, standard has a, uh, Stanford has a high standard of what they expect from their athletes and off the field of play, out of the pool, off the track, away from the football field, off the basketball court, they want these kids to be smart, number one. They are student athletes and they want them to be pretty good people. Um, I'm sure there's garbage that happens. It happens everywhere because people do bad things, okay? but. That place gets it, and they're, they're not the only ones. There are student athletes out there that are still winning at a regular, a high clip, and they're still good students, and they're still good people. And that needs to be what Purdue's standard is. I, I know it's a it's a simple idea, but I want, and I, I'm positive Mike Babinski has this uh, has this YouTube channel clipped as one of his favorites. The stuff that's happening outside of the Purdue family right now and in other places, it's unacceptable. I don't want any of it. I've said it for a long time. I don't want any of it. And I'm not just, I don't think I'm speaking in platitudes. People know me say that, you know, would you trade a little bit of cheating, a little bit of uh, skirting the rules for a championship? I really don't want to do that. I don't want to have to support my alma mater with exceptions or with an asterisk. Um, I want Purdue to be better. 
honestly, and I think you can. It's the same thing in the real world. You guys have to deal with things every day where you work with somebody who might not be ethical or might not do things the right way and maybe they've gotten the promotion you haven't. It's the same thing. You can't give up and uh, you've got to have a higher standard and so does Purdue. It's pretty simple. So. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to talk about camp, like I said, on the Handsome Hour. We're going to talk about Big Ten football. We're going to talk about all the stuff that's been going on. Stay tuned to the site. Read, watch, listen. We appreciate it. Have a great day. God bless you. BS all the time.